Disney Frozen Anna and Elsa Childhood Times It was a beautiful day in the little kingdom of Arendelle, and not one, not two, but three visiting ships were anchored in the harbour. King Agnar and Queen Iduna proudly stood in the castle courtyard and greeted their guests. If all went well, then Arendelle would have three new partners in trade by the end of the visit. Upstairs, Elsa and Anna stared in disbelief at the breakfast. We get chocolate just because there are some fancy visitors? Anna asked. I suppose we could refuse to eat it? Elsa teased. No! Anna chomped on her chocolate croissant. Elsa, can we play with the magic? We're supposed to stay in our rooms and not disturb the guests, Elsa said. Elsa, please? Anna begged. We can hide. They won't ever see us. And besides, the castle is so clean now. And if you don't do the magic, then it's like the shiny floors will be wasted. Okay, Elsa interrupted. Let's play, but we have to be very quiet. Together, the sisters sneak out into the castle's grand hallway. The king and queen were still outside in the gardens with the visitors. So Elsa raised her hands high into the air. Whoosh! The floors and railings instantly froze with glistening ice. Whee! shouted Anna. She slid across the floor. When the king and queen came indoors with their visitors, Anna and Elsa quickly sneaked away. Nobody saw them. That was a close call, Elsa whispered to Anna. We need to be careful or we'll get in trouble. Okay, said Anna, but can we use magic to make some ice statues, please, Elsa? Elsa paused for just a second and then made an eye statue. Then she made some more. The sister squealed with delight. And now we would like to show you some of Arendelle's best artwork, the king said from the hallway. Anna and Elsa looked at each other and gasped. They raced out of the art room and fled into the kitchen. The king and queen led the tour directly into the art room. Anna and Elsa were gone but their eye sculptures were still in place. Ah, I say, the Baron of Snoop exclaimed. These statues are extraordinary, very avant-garde. Herf, his wife, the Baroness, was less impressed. Inside the kitchen, Elsa cut loose. She made huge amounts of snow and ice. The sisters began a big, fun snowball fight. See that pan? Elsa shouted. She hit it with a fine snowball. Woohoo! The two girls were having so much fun that they barely saw the king and queen arriving with their royal visitors. Quickly, Anna and Elsa slipped up the back staircase before anyone saw them. When the king and queen entered the kitchen, they were surprised to see all of the ice, but the royal visitors thought the snowballs were wonderful. Oh my, this is just what we need on a warm summer's day, exclaimed the baron, spinning the snow into a cup. You must try it, my dear. Harumph! The baroness stared at her icy snow cone. Ah, yes, the king chuckled. Ice is Arendelle's number one form of trade. Indeed, we harvest lots of ice from lakes up in the nearby mountains, the queen added. There was no stopping now. Anna and Elsa ran through the rest of the castle. In the ballroom, Elsa made snowy hills. And both girls slid up into the air. And then down again. They even made snow angels. Suddenly, 
The girls heard the guests approaching outside the ballroom. Oh, oh! Elsa said, startled. We better stop. They almost saw us. Anna chirped. Neither of the girls wanted to get into trouble, so they raced back to the room. Meanwhile, down in the ballroom, the king and queen gasped when they saw the snowy heels and oof! The baroness slipped and landed in a pile of snow. Oh dear! The queen said. She and the king rushed to help the baroness. Snow angels! The baroness cried out. I love snow angels! What a delightful surprise! I say, the baron chuckled. The kingdom of Arendelle stops at nothing to please its visitors. Soon everyone was enjoying the snow and the decor. The king and queen could not have been more delighted to see their visitors having so much fun. All the guests wanted to do business with Arendelle, which clearly was a very happy and sophisticated kingdom. After the visitors had gone to the guest rooms for the evening, the king and queen went to check on their daughters. Both girls appeared to be sleeping soundly. But as soon as they were alone, the girls' eyes popped open. Elsa, do you want to play? Anna asked. Anna, we can't. We are already going to be in a ton of trouble tomorrow, Elsa said. Anna leaned back onto her pillow and sighed. Still, it was so worth it, both girls said together.